Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of feline behavior. You love your cat, but let's face it, sometimes those little fur balls can be mischievous little monsters. They knock stuff over, they claw the furniture, and sometimes they even act a little too sassy for their own good. But here's the thing, cats actually do have their own way of saying, oops, my bad. Ever wondered how your cat says I'm sorry? It's not always obvious. They don't exactly write apology notes or send flowers, but trust me, they've got their ways. We're going to decode those signals and explore six ways cats apologize to their humans. So buckle up, grab your feline friend, and let's get ready to understand our cats better than ever before. Let's start with a classic, the slow blink. You know the one, those long, languid blinks that make your cat look like they're about to doze off in a sunbeam. But this is no ordinary naptime ritual. This, my friends, is feline for I love you, I trust you, and yes, even I'm sorry. See, in the cat world, direct eye contact can be a challenge. It's a sign of dominance, even aggression. So when your cat slows down those blinks, they're essentially disarming themselves. They're saying, hey, I'm not a threat, I'm feeling vulnerable, and I'm choosing to be vulnerable with you. And when a cat feels safe enough to be vulnerable, that's when you know you've got a deep bond. So, the next time your kitty gives you those slow blinks, especially after a little misunderstanding, take it as a huge compliment. They're saying, I messed up, but I still love you. Can we move on now? And you know what? You can slow blink right back at them. It's like a secret handshake of love and forgiveness. It strengthens your bond and shows your cat that you understand their language. Think of it like this. You wouldn't stay mad at someone who looked you in the eye and said, I'm sorry, with genuine feeling, would you? It's the same with your cat. Those slow blinks are their way of speaking from the heart. So pay attention and learn to appreciate the power of the slow blink. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, cat guardians, let's talk head boops. You know that adorable thing your cat does when they gently bump their head against you? It's not just a way to get your attention, although they're certainly good at that too. No, those head butts are packed with meaning. In the feline world, head bunting is a way of marking territory but not in a territorial kind of way. It's more about leaving their scent on something or someone they love and trust. They've got scent glands all over their little faces and when they rub that scent on you, they're basically saying, you're mine and I'm glad about it. Now think about what happens after a little spat with your furry friend. Maybe they swiped at your hand when you tried to move them or maybe they decided to have a midnight zoomy session that involved knocking over your favorite plant. You were annoyed, they were confused and now there's a bit of tension in the air. But then, your cat saunters over, rubs their head against your leg, maybe even throws in a little purr for good measure. They're not just being cute, although, let's be honest, they are. They're saying, hey, remember that thing? I'm over it. Let's be friends again. So, the next time your cat decides to use your leg as a scratching post for their face, don't shoo them away. Embrace the head boob. It's a sign of love, trust, and yes, even apology. They're saying, I'm sorry for being a goofball. Can we cuddle now? All right, let's talk about gifts. No, not the kind you find wrapped under a tree, but the kind your cat leaves lying around. And sometimes those gifts are a little more unique than others. We're talking about those presents that might make you scream, what is that? And run for the paper towels. I know, I know. A dead lizard on your doorstep isn't exactly the most romantic gesture. But here's the thing. Your cat isn't trying to gross you out. They're actually trying to show you love, appreciation, and yes, even apologize for any wrongdoing. Think about it from their perspective. In the wild, cats are hunters. Bringing back prey is a sign of a successful hunt, and it's also a way of providing for their family. So when your little house panther drops a dead cockroach at your feet, they're not trying to punish you for forgetting to refill their food bowl. They're saying, look what I did for you. I'm a good provider. Please be proud of me. Now, obviously, we don't want to encourage our cats to bring us dead things, but it's important to understand the sentiment behind it. They're trying to make amends in their own special way. So instead of freaking out, try to appreciate the thought. And hey, if your cat is more of a toy giver than a hunter, that's even better. A toy mouse or a feather wand at your feet is their way of saying, let's play and forget about that whole thing where I shredded your curtains. It's all about making peace and strengthening your bond. Let's be real, folks. Is there anything more soothing than a cat's purr? It's like a warm blanket for your soul. 
But did you know that those rumbling vibrations aren't just a sign of contentment? They can also be a powerful way for your cat to say, I'm sorry. See, cats purr for a lot of reasons. They purr when they're happy, they purr when they're nursing their kittens, and they even purr when they're injured or stressed. It's a self-soothing mechanism, a way for them to calm themselves down and promote healing. So when your cat has done something wrong and they come slinking up to you purring like a tiny motor, they're not just trying to butter you up, although that might be part of it. They're also trying to diffuse the tension to create a sense of peace and harmony. Think about it, when you're upset, don't you sometimes find yourself taking deep breaths or listening to calming music? It's the same idea with cats and their purrs. Those vibrations are like a sonic hug, a way of saying, okay, I messed up. Can we please just relax and be friends again? And the best part, those purrs aren't just good for your cat, they're good for you too. Studies have shown that listening to a cat's purr can lower blood pressure, reduce stress, and even promote healing. So, the next time your cat starts purring up a storm after a little incident, lean into it. Let those vibrations wash over you and melt away the tension. It's a win-win for both of you. Okay, cat lovers, let's talk about those moments when your cat suddenly becomes your shadow. Everywhere you go, they're right there with you weaving between your legs, rubbing against your ankles, maybe even tripping you up a little. Because let's face it, cats are masters of the accidental trip up. Now some cats are just naturally clingy. They're like furry little Velcro strips, permanently attached to your side. But sometimes, that clinginess can be a sign of something more. It can be a sign of anxiety, insecurity, or yes, even guilt. Think about it. When you've had a fight with your significant other or a friend, don't you sometimes find yourself craving their attention? You might call them more often, want to spend more time with them, even if you're not quite ready to apologize directly. It's a way of seeking reassurance, of trying to repair the damage. Cats are the same way. When they feel like they've done something wrong, they might become extra clingy. They're not just being needy, they're trying to rebuild the connection to show you that they still love and trust you even if they messed up. So the next time your cat is following you around like a furry little detective, don't shoo them away. Give them a little scratch behind the ears, talk to them in a soothing voice, and let them know that you still love them, even if they did just knock over your favorite coffee mug. All right, folks, let's talk about one of the most adorable and sometimes perplexing ways cats apologize grooming. Yes, those little sandpapery tongues that can turn a perfectly good hairdo into a bird's nest can also be a sign of love, trust, and yes, even remorse. Now, we all know that cats are meticulous groomers. They spend hours each day licking and preening themselves, making sure every hair is in place. But grooming isn't just about hygiene for cats, it's also a social activity. Cats who are close will often groom each other as a way of bonding, showing affection, and strengthening their social bonds. So, when your cat starts licking you, it's not just because they think you taste good, although who knows, maybe you do. They're trying to tell you that they care about you, that they see you as part of their family, and that they want to make things right if there's been a little bump in the road. Think about it. When you were a kid and you fell down and scraped your knee, what did your mom or dad do? They probably kissed it better, right? Well, for cats, licking is the equivalent of a kiss. It's their way of soothing, comforting, and saying, there, there, it's okay, I'm here for you. So the next time your cat starts giving you a bath with their tongue, don't pull away, unless it's getting a little too, shall we say, enthusiastic. Let them lick away. It's their way of saying, I'm sorry, I love you, let's forget this ever happened. So there you have it, folks. Six ways your cat might be saying, oops, my bad. Remember, cats are creatures of subtlety, but their actions speak volumes. Pay attention to their body language, those little gestures, those moments when they try to bridge the gap after a misunderstanding. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into your feline friends. And remember, understanding your cat's language is the key to a deeper, more fulfilling bond. See you next time.